good morning everyone myself sail siddu and i am going to present a paper on the topic of association of hyperechoic pancreas with glycosylated hemoglobin values introduction despite being a common place ultrasound finding let us is known about the clinical significance of hyperechoic pancreas the major determinant of pancreatic echogenicity is severity of the fat distribution within its parenchyma and The distribution of the regional adipose tissue is most important factor in predicting obesity resistant obesity related insulin resistance with the visceral fat accumulation contributing more strongly to insulin resistance than subcutaneous fat. Now visceral fat can deposit it in organs such as liver and pancreas leading to fatty liver and hyperechoic pancreas respectively. Now ectopic fat accumulation in the liver not associated with significant alcohol consumption is defined as non alcoholic fatty liver disease similarly non alcoholic fatty pancreatic disease is defined as excessive accumulation of the fat in the pancreas due to obesity without significant alcohol consumption other identified risk factors for hyperechoic pancreas are age older than 60 years of age obesity fatty liver hypertension and hypercholesterolemia advantages of abdominal sonography over other modalities are its non invasiveness convenience cost effectiveness and lack of radiation establishing the relation between hyperechoic pancreas and diabetes could have potential benefits in clinical practice it helps to identify pre diabetes and diabetes patient before they develop clinical symptoms aim and objectives to assess the association between increasing pancreatic egogenicity and glycosylated hemoglobin values materials and methods the study was done in our college vardhaman mahavir medical college and safdanj hospital new delhi over a period of 18 months and it was an observational cross sectional study the sample size was calculated based on the odds ratio determined in our reference study and the sample size was found to be 99 and they the each group it was the study participants were divided into three groups group 1 included patients with normal echogenic pancreas group 2 with mild hyperechoic and group 3 with moderate to severe hyperechoic pancreas we included all subjects with above 18 years of age in our study exclusion criteria was men with history of more than 30 grams per day estimated alcohol consumption in a week and women with more than 20 grams per day in a week patient with history of viral hepatitis or those zero positive for b or c antigen patient with history of pancreatitis or pancreatic malignancy patient with history of liver or pancreatic surgery and patient with cirrhosis were also excluded from our study the uh, ultrasound was done after 8 hours of fasting by curvilinear transducer and the probe was placed horizontally in subxiphoid region and it is moved in cranio caudal direction the diagnostic criteria actually the normal echogenicity of the pancreas should be similar to that of liver or renal parenchyma hyperechoic pancreas is increased in the echogenicity in the pancreas compared with that of the left lobe of the liver under the same ultrasound window if the left lobe is not seen in the same window for direct comparison or if the liver seems hyperechoic then the pancreas is compared with the right kidney or the spleen indirectly assessment of severity normal pancreas is echogenicity similar to that of liver or hypoechoic or isoechoic compared with the spleen mild increase in in echogenicity compared with liver is defined as mild hyperechoic pancreas moderate hyperechoic pancreas is defined as definitely increase echogenicity compared with the liver and the spleen but it should be less than the retroperitoneal fat severe hyperechoic pancreas is defined as echogenicity similar to or higher than retroperitoneal fat also now the pre diabetes is diagnosed based on hba1c of 5.7 to 6.4 while diabetes is diagnosed with value of more than or equal to 6.5 Results. So in our study, ACE was positively correlated with presence and severity of hyperechoic pancreas. While no association was found with the gender and the blood pressure, in contrast to the previous studies, which showed that male gender and hypertension were associated with hyperechoic pancreas. Weight BMI waist hip ratio was also significantly associated with presence and severity of hyperechoic pancreas, while no significant association was found with the height. Our study found that higher BMI is associated with increased likelihood of having hyperechoic pancreas. When no association was found with grades of fatty liver, the likelihood of such finding is contributed to the absence of fatty liver in majority of our included subjects with hyperechoic pancreas. Another reason for such a finding may be that other factors apart from the fatty liver may contribute more to the development of hyperechoic pancreas. 
patients with hyperacuipine creas have significantly higher proportion of pre-diabetic and diabetic profiles compared to those without hyperacuipine creas. Similarly, HbA1c value was found to be higher in patients with hyperacuipine creas. Discussion Association with the presence of hyperacuipancreas, age, weight, BMI, waist hip ratio, diabetic profile, and HbA1c was found to be a significant risk factor of hyperacuipancreas. Waist to hip ratio emerged as a strong independent risk factor, while no significant association was found with gender, BP, height, grades of fatty liver. With the severity, also, the same association was found with age, BMI, weight, waist hip ratio, and HbA1c values. Diabetic profile shows strong association with the severity with higher proportion of pre-diabetic and diabetic individuals in more severe cases. So this is the case 1 showing ecogenicity of the pancreas similar to that of the liver. So it was a normal ecogenicity of the pancreas with no fatty liver and the patient was found to be non-diabetic. In case 2 we found that grade 1 fatty liver was present so we compared the pancreatic ecogenicity with that of the spleen and the kidney and the ecogenicity was found to be similar. So it was a case of normal ecogenicity of the pancreas with associated grade 1 fatty liver and the patient was found to be at non-diabetic. So this is the case 3 showing pancreatic ecogenicity slightly higher than the left lobe of the liver. So it is a case of mild hyperechoic pancreas with no fatty liver and HbA1c was found to be 6.9%. So in case 4, we found that pancreatic ecogenicity is definitely increased than that of liver, but it is less than that of retroperitoneal fat. So it is a case of moderate hyperechoic pancreas and the patient was found to be in a pre-diabetic range. So this is case 5 showing definitely increased ecogenicity of the pancreas than that of left lobe and also ecogenicity is more than that of retroperitoneal fat. So it is a case of severe hyperechoic pancreas and the patient was found to be diabetic. Conclusion Our study found a significant association between hyperechoic pancreas and HbA1c values. So, hyperechoic pancreas on an abdominal ultrasound can be used as a screening tool to identify at risk cases, which will help to detect pre diabetic and diabetic at an early stage. Since moderate and severe hyperechoic pancreas were significantly associated with pre diabetic and diabetes, so evaluating the severity of hyperechoic pancreas also is helpful in the clinical practice. The main limitation of our study was a single center cross section study design. These are the references used. Thank you.